This is the entrance to the Milk River Ranch. It's outside of Haver, Montana, about four miles south of the Canadian border. Well, welcome to Augustine Grain and Cattle. Uh, we produce cattle, small grains, chickpeas, beans, lentils, uh, so a wide variety of, of products here in the north central Montana. Okay. You're looking at a, a chiseled outline of a buffalo that we found lying on the surface down in our corrals. Uh, it's been, been authenticated or identified by archaeologists and Native American pe peoples as being legit. Uh, but it's kind of a cool piece. Right, and your wife found this in the corral? Yeah, about a year ago. And this is on the Milk River Ranch? Yep, it would have been about a quarter of a mile from, no, a couple hundred yards from the river. A couple hundred yards from the river? Yeah. Have you found a lot of other things similar to this, or is this uh, the first of the... That, that chiseled yeah. buffalo, Was but it? I think a lot of it's a function of, Bill, we don't have time to look. Standing along the west side of a drive line of a buffalo jump, because there's been no excavation here, no study of it, of this buffalo jump by archaeologists, we're not certain of the age uh, of the buffalo jump or when it was used uh, because it's been unstudied. Uh, I know that uh, because of cultivated land, these sorts of large uh, drive lines are unusual. And you they could be harvested. This is the area where the buffalo would be driven off the the sides of the hills yep. and it's so steep that they'd get injured and then in a spot like back up in here this is where they'd build a holding pen so that if the injured animal was still alive and just crippled they could keep it alive for a couple of days until they had time to process it. This is the bone yard at Highland Hill Farm. There's all kinds of bones here. If you look right there that's a bone, that's a dinosaur bone. Mike, you just found two pieces. They are, yep. And uh, just throw them back on. There's a chunk of a vertebrae from a dinosaur. The material is all over through this area. Michael? Yeah. You've got a lot of dinosaur bones here, buddy. It's all over this little knoll right here. This is a set of bones just creeping out of the ground here. And you can see the trails all the way down along here. Fragments from it all the way down. We have these Nicium locks we've grown here for a lot of years. Uh, we've kept them thin good. They're really great sheared. We've got them up to 11 to 12. This is a block of green giant arborvitas. More green giants at the top of this next field, field with Niagara's in the base and some more Niagara's and green giants over in there and more green giants all the way up through there. Give us a call, 215-651-8. This is a field of Leland Cypress, 8 to 10, 10 to 12 are down in there. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are 30 to 36 inch American boxwood. Give us a call, 215-651-8329.